Release the drone! <laughs> Yo, it's the Air Fry Guy, back for the next adventure, eh? Um, yeah, so this is going to be a bit of a random one, to be fair. Just going to, yeah, try some naan bread pizza. Just see how that turns out. Could be good, could be bad. As always, only one way to find out. Let's go! Yeah, just basically preheating the air fryer for a little bit now. Gonna try and get it, yeah. Preheat it probably for about five, ten, yeah, probably about five minutes or so, get it nice and hot. Yeah, let's get the old pizza party ready. Right, so according to the instructions on the naan bread, might have to get a bit biblical up in this bitch. And um, yeah, you can't really see that, the focus is rubbish, but yeah, basically that first line sprinkle with a little bit of water. So yeah, a bit weird when you do that with naan bread, it's a bit like a priest. Don't worry, I'm not like that. <laughs> but yeah, we'll just get these um, get these bad boys christened in a minute. So yeah, about to start getting the naan bread ready now. Naan bread. I don't know what's the correct way to say it, to be fair. If you say naan bread, that sounds like proper posh, doesn't it? Hey, I'm going to get my naan bread out. Um, but yeah, naan bread, naan bread. Who cares? Let's get this ready. Right, so I've got my little plate here decorated in, um, yeah. Finished in air fry guy green. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, you're just gonna turn this upside down, sprinkle a little bit of water on it in a sec, chuck it in for two minutes, and then, yeah, pull it out, flip her over, get the old toppings on. Right, so it's now time for the naan bread to get baptized or whatever. Cue the church music. Oh, that's rubbish, church music, but got a little sprinkle of water. I bless the naan bread. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to chuck a little sprinkle on this side as well, actually. Get that done. Which is ready to be topped in a minute. Right, so just going to do, yeah, just a couple little sprays. So, so it didn't stick or anything. But yeah, as mentioned, naan bread going in upside down, literally just for like, yeah, just for like, like two minutes, I reckon. So yeah, we'll get that out in a sec. Right, let's get this pizza out. Literally just, um, yeah, cooked it. On the back. Gonna leave me air fryer preheated in the background, just to get it nice and hot, but yeah, that's a bit... Blimmin' <laughs> hell, can you see the steam coming out of that? Chuffer! Um, but yeah, so that's the bottom bit done. Now, ah, this is gonna be proper hot as well, let's get it... Let's get it topped up to the max. Right, this is going to be so easy, so let's go step one, tomato puree. Don't really know how much tomato puree we need, I haven't actually done a homemade pizza before, but that looks like it could be a good amount. Let's just get this smeared over. Oh, I've got a feeling this is actually going to be proper nice, obviously this isn't an, any normal naan, this is a garlic and coriander naan. Fresh from Audi. <coughs> but yeah, so this is gonna be, I don't know if that's too much tomato puree, we'll find out. The old taste test, I guess. But yeah, this is smelling, oh, wicked already. But yeah, let's get the next topping on. Looking at it like this, this thing does look proper weird to be fair. It looks a bit like, um, yeah, you know, that thing he draws on the uh, football and castaway. Wilson. But anyway, enough waffling, let's get, these toppings on, so yeah, just got some, didn't really know what cheese to use, so I just got these ones, like a pepperoni and mozzarella. Selection. So, let's get a couple bits of mozzarella on there to start with. We'll just go one, two, three. Actually, now spread them out a little bit, like that, I think. And then, a little bit of pepperoni to go on it as well. No, pepperoni. pepperoni. Put it on there. Just gonna sort of fold those in half a bit. And these should give it a nice good, um, yeah. Nice good curl up or whatever. But yeah, just gonna put chuck a few more of these on. Last but not least, a bit more mozzarella grated. So yeah, let's get that mozzarella ready. And she's ready. But yeah, so they're, they're beamy toppings, obviously. You can use whatever toppings you like. Your pizza, your life, your naan brand. 
Um, but yeah, so let's get this in. See how see how she turns out. She's ready to go in. Let's see how this turns out. To be fair, these little naan breads, or well, normal size naan breads that you get from shop or whatever, they fit, yeah, perfect in there. So, yeah, she's ready to go. Let's rock and roll. See what happens. Right, so I just came over to check the pizza. And, oh yeah, look what's happened. Turn the light on. It's come out banging. Kaboom. Naan bread pizza. There you go. Literally, matterofminutes.com. Right, we're going to have to release the drone again for this one. Look at that. That is definitely non bread pizza success. We'll get it cut open in a minute. Probably going to have a massive cheese pool. The pool's going to be so big on that cheese, it ain't even going to come home the next day. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to cut out. Oh, a pizza, this. <laughs> but yeah, again, garlic, um, coriander, naan. Two minutes, first of all. Flip her over, chuck the stuff on, three minutes. Yeah, we've got some good cheese pull action there. Oh, I might just have to eat that. Bit of cheese, actually. Update, that was proper nice bit of pepperoni there. Just going to give it a little... Yeah, another little taste test on the end. Hopefully it's not too hot. Right, so update, done a little taste test. And yeah, that is actually amazing. Yeah, screw you Domino's, screw you Papa John's, screw you, um, I don't know, <laughs> another pizza place, but yeah. There's a new one in town. Get down Aldi or ever, get a garlic and coriander naan. Do this, this is literally, yeah, probably best pizza I've ever had. That's not even exaggerating, that's proper good flavours with that garlic and coriander naan. Um, but yeah, definitely give it a try. Let us know in the comments how you get on, what you think, what your favourite combo is. Obviously, chuck any old ingredients on there. Um, no pineapple and no anchovies though, thanks. But yeah, anyway, that's the air fry guy. Literally, I'm still actually in shock at how <laughs> easy this was. Literally, that's five minutes. Bang, job done. But yeah, so yeah, for our guys signing out, um, yeah, we'll be back next week with the next one. In the meantime, drop a like, drop a subscribe, drop a comment. They're always appreciated. Take it easy, rock and roll. Peace out and cheese out. Oh, hi, me again. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to see if I could see if get a good, um, yeah, cheese pull. But we'll give it a go. Yeah, that is the one. <laughs> Look at that. It's like something out of the old school, like um, Teenage Min Nin Nin Ninja Mutant. I uh, can't <laughs> even say it, you know what I mean? Teen Teenage Turtles or whatever. Um, where they will be like, oh yeah, look at this pizza. And it's massive, like, cheese pool. But yeah, that's mental. Obviously, if I had other type of cheese, I would have chucked a bit of cheddar on there as well. But yeah, that's enough waffling. I'm actually going this time. Have a good one. See you on the next Air Fryer adventure.